Just like a man, I am immune to the disease. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. It appears our city is under attack. At 5 this morning, an explosion ripped through Grand Plaza Station. Hundreds of early morning commuters and station staff are reportedly dead, and many more are wounded. Reports that the explosion was a terror attack have been confirmed. Two separate Middle Eastern extremist fundamentalist groups are claiming responsibility. In an emergency meeting this morning, government officials have decided to increase the city's lockdown with a strict curfew and immediate no-go areas. It appears gang warfare is escalating with groups such as the Burners, which reportedly has 200 members and is growing. We have not seen T-Zero, the new multi-million dollar riot response unit. However, a military insider tells Channel 7 News that T-Zero is ready to hit the streets later today. Each T-Zero enforcer has what amounts to military status with upgraded weapons. That includes the controversial RP-0 pistol. As you may know, T-Zero doesn't have much public support. Most residents think the unit is an expensive PR campaign to boost the mayor's image. We're getting reports that Hope Street Police Station is under attack by armed terrorists. That station is where T-Zero is temporarily based. This is T-Zero's first real test. We'll have more on this and other late breaking details later. Channel 7, first for news in your city. gang member in the cells. Some bastard called Estevez. Looks like they want him back. I knew you'd be a fine addition to T-Zero. Go in that room and grab a riot shield. You need to grab a riot shield before we go any further. Zero is here to clean up this city. That shield is gonna help keep you alive, so remember to damn well use it. You've also got a standard issue stun gun, which you can use to bring some of these bastards in alive and keep some heat you off our backs. You wanna die? Dispatch! I need a fireman to meet Officer Mason. He's gonna need some help getting into the main building. No problem. FD-13, I need assistance for Officer Mason. 
I need a fireman to meet him at the exterior parking lot. This is Doug Johnson, MP13. I'm already there. I'll meet him up top. Quick, come here. Hey, I was told to report to an officer, Mason. That you? Great. Come on, there's a door over there. I'll go break it down for you. You watch my back. Unit 41, we have a 1013 on the corner of Oak Street and Main. This fast, this is Unit 15. I'm uh, pinned down on the east side. The wire back up down. There's another one of those gang you bastards in die. there. Go take him out. In your face, fucker. I'm gonna play for you, fucker. Thanks for that. So you're T Zero then, huh? Cool. Guess that means you can order me around then, huh? That door over there is locked, but I think I can break it down. When you think it's safe, just give me the order and I'll get it open. No problem. Man, this place is dark. You've got a flashlight. Use it. to isolate the section. I'll use this valve. You get around the other side and see if you can find another. Use that shield of yours to get past the flames. Come and get it! Yeah. Okay, turning mine. Good work. Bit more practice, and I'll recommend you for a job on my crew. Come on. I'm on it. Cool. Nice working with you, Mason. I'm heading back to the front. You go on ahead. Mason, you're required in the locker room. Looks like backups arrived. Who are you? Oh, you're T-Zero. Am I glad to see you? I'm Jane, Jane Delaney. If you need any medical assistance, come and see me or any other paramedic. You look like you could use some help. That's one of the three packs used. Be careful, you understand? I've got more wounded in here. You get going. I think you need an admin. Back, I need more medical personnel in the locker room. Get your ass over here! Zero, continue to make your way to the cell block. Your quickest route is via the front desk. This bag. I am treating to the cell block entrance to wait for backup. You better get here quick. Including a possible gang leader in a barricaded position. Use your shield as protection. We need the leader brought in alive. So use your shield and get close before stunning him. We need to try to bring gang leaders in alive so we can interrogate them and get a heads up on the plan. You like looking at me? You want to go Remember, get a room? use your shield to get close enough. Good job, Mason. We can use that guy to try and find out the gang's next Good move. Good job. We needed that guy alive. You were at gang here. We get to jump on their next move. Get over 
here. Am I glad to see you. Here's the situation. Estevez is holding my partner hostage. I got another officer trying to reason with him. It doesn't look good. You're better off using your sidearm in a hostage You're situation. Mine. It's more accurate. Bleed, piggy! I'm gonna bleed! Fuck you up! You won't fucking take me! I'm getting out of this place. And when I do, we're gonna fuck this city! Shoot him now! now. He's reloading! Don't let this bastard get away! Get up. Looks like he's retreating. If you get too close, he'll panic. And you can pretty much guarantee he'll kill the hostage. I'm here if you run out of ammo. I've never seen anyone take on a hostage situation like that. I won't forget that in a hurry. Good work, Mason. I will personally interrogate that gang leader you captured. Hopefully he'll let something slip that'll help us get the jump on these bastards. Okay, I want a forensic team down here ASAP. And I want you to join me in ops for a debrief. Come on, we haven't got all day. Sally Taylor reporting live outside the Hope Street Police Building. Earlier this morning, this building was attacked by what local eyewitnesses describe as literally hundreds of homicidal maniacs. As you know, today was also the first day of active service for the mayor's new T-Zero anti-gang division. Are these two events linked? Who knows for certain? One thing is known, however. The siege ended when an officer in T-Zero saved the life of a fellow police officer, viciously held hostage by a Mr. Carl Estevez. Police have up to now refused to release any information about either the current whereabouts of Mr. Estevez or, more importantly, the officer who saved the day. More news as it happens. Now back to Lonnie in the studio. You have unlocked Emergency Downtown. You have unlocked an extra pistol clip. Disease that's inside you, that's inside you, that's inside you. Mason, we have an emergency. A transceiver discovered on the gang members has confirmed recent intelligence that a top secret VIP, vital to the city's survival, is being held hostage in this location by gang members. Only T Zero is able to respond, so you're going in solo. During the mission, you will have access to non approved T Zero prototype weaponry. If you succeed, it will cut a lot of red tape, so you get to keep them permanently. Stay sharp, Mason. Got much time to locate that. 
You have unlocked the Shotgun Mark I. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you. That's inside you. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. It was one of the worst attacks to date by gangs. Hope Street Police Station and the emergency workers stationed there survived an all-out assault last month. T-Zero assisted officers in defending the station and made many of the 56 arrests that day. One of the gang's most notorious leaders, Estevez, was killed. The Civil Defense Committee has confirmed that recent multi-gang attacks are fully organized and coordinated. The police investigation into the gangs and their members has been kept highly confidential. Investigators have not released any of the gangs' identities or objectives. But these gangs have shown they are an army on a mission. Several large corporations are aiding police by notifying them of any suspicious employees or employee actions. These companies include the accounts giant PPS, the removal firm Shifted, and the energy conglomerate Shiny Energy. 34 arrests have been made so far based on tips from these employers. 
Many employees are being questioned after homemade weapons and explosives were found on company premises. If you suspect someone you know to be a gang member, please contact your local police department. Meanwhile, the new riot response unit T0 has been deemed a partial success. In just one month, T0 has made more than 90 gang related arrests. And last month, more than 200 people with ties to gangs were sent to prison. That's the highest figure since 2002. Nick Mason, who's a T0 enforcer, has been dubbed the Angel of Hope Street by local police for his work in defending the station. Even so, public opinion is still mixed about T0. Many feel it hasn't earned its multi million dollar price tag. I'm getting word of a terror attack at the South Side Canals. Police have quarantined and evacuated the area, but some police and medical teams are trapped. It appears they were lured to the docks with false 911 calls. T0 and police backup are en route. Channel 7's news chopper is at the scene and can confirm that hostages have been taken. We'll have more on this story as it unfolds. Channel 7, first for news in your city. partner down there. You gotta find her, and then find the people who called for help. Oh, uh, my name's Tara, by the way. Tara, hey, find hey that other medic. I could help you with that. You should be fine now. I've got another two packs. Good job, Nick. 
it. I'll send in a team to interrogate that gang leader. Is Tara okay? Thank God. Am I glad to see you here, Nick? They said something about a warehouse near here. Maybe we should take a look. I'm sure the guy you called is still in danger. Whatever you say. Nick, remember I'm unarmed. If anyone attacks me, I am really gonna need your help. If you see any trouble, tell me to take cover. I'll try and hide for as long as possible, but I'll be relying on you to save me. You understand? Remember, I can heal you if you need it. gonna be okay. Maybe a little delirious for the moment, but okay. He managed to say something about his boss being taken by these thugs. Must be somewhere down there. You so this place is safe. Looks like these bastards hey, Nick, cut the power. Here. I should be able to reset it in the basement storeroom. Here. 
Okay, he's over there. Keep a lookout for trouble. Okay, power's on. The shutter should work now. I'm going back to my office till more help gets here. Maybe you were worth my damn tax dollars after all. This is the T-Zero Copter. Power's been restored to the warehouse. I can only assume Mason's made it. Nice job, Mason. Looks like you've cleared the warehouse. Make your way back to Medic Delaney back in the alley outside. Officer Forrester, you remain in the warehouse to keep it secure. No problem. Nice work, Mason. You got them all, Nick. Thanks for your help. I called for another ambulance to meet us when this mess was over. Should be here any minute. Sally Taylor reporting live for Channel 7 News. I'm standing on Saunders Street Bridge looking over the scene where this morning T-Zero's Nick Mason rescued two local workers from a vicious and unprovoked attack from the Burner Gang. We also hear that during the operation, two paramedics were attacked, but thankfully they too were rescued by Mason. I've got to tell you, there are mixed feelings coming out of this place today. On the one hand, you have local residents complaining of military-like maneuvers and the destruction of private property. Others have nothing but praise for the action, the mayor and most of all, Officer Mason. I guess we'll have to wait a little longer to find out the impact of T-Zero on the city, but for now and after only weeks of active service, T-Zero appears to be making a difference. Back to you, Lonnie, in the studio. You have unlocked Emergency, Southside Lot. You have unlocked The Shield, Mark II. Mason, we have another emergency. The PDA discovered on the gang members has proved military intelligence that a top secret VIP critical to the city's survival is being held hostage in this location by gang members. Again, only T-Zero is able to respond, so you're going in solo. You will have access to non-approved T-Zero prototype weaponry. If you succeed, you earn the weapon for all further missions. Good luck, Mason.
You have unlocked the Assault Rifle Mark I. You have unlocked a Pistol Damage Upgrade. You have unlocked T-0 Body Armor. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. The South Side Canals were the target of more gang violence last month in a shocking assault. The gang nicknamed the Burners invaded the area, killing innocent people and taking paramedics and civilians hostage. As T-0 battles against the violence, its leader is now coming under fire. Sergeant Adam Wolf is accused of torturing gang members who are in custody. Civil activist Gabe Peeps is calling for an immediate investigation. Meanwhile, Mayor John Wyatt is facing criticism for failing to resolve gang activity as promised. 
During a press conference, he promised the situation would be resolved more than two months ago. The mayor has been told he needs to do something soon. Otherwise, the military will be brought in to protect the citizens who've been leaving in increasing numbers. Well, several major companies have donated record funds to the city's plight in an event organized by Shift It. Nearly $2 million was raised for T0 and emergency services, but polls show T0 still has little public support. We're getting reports of another major gang attack now. It seems multiple firebomb attacks have hit the downtown area. Several buildings have collapsed and many people are now trapped between the fires and the gangs. Emergency crews have just arrived on the scene and T0 is on its way. Police are asking citizens to avoid the downtown area completely. We'll have more on this story as it unfolds. Channel 7, first for news in your city. I got two of my men down in the alleyways. I need your help. Take out those crazy bastards throwing Molotovs so I can get that fire put out and get you into the alleys. What I've done with you. Nice job, officer. Now go find my guys. you out if I can. assistance in the alleys. Steve is down. I repeat, I need medical assistance. On my way. You're gonna be okay. You hear me? Shit. Losing it. Listen to me. Stay with me, Steve. Come on. No. Damn it. I worked with him for three years. He was one of the best. These bastards murdered him. Damn, it's too late. He's dead, Mike. There was nothing you could do. You really couldn't have saved him. Damn it. Dead, Mason. Listen, I need a minute here. You go on. See if you can find a route into the building. I won't be long.
I'm ready. Okay. I'm coming. Okay. Listen up. It's real smoky in here, and you need all the help you can get. Take this breather. I mean, Fire Department Thermal Vision and Protection Kit. Anyway, we call it Breather. You can use it to find people and help you navigate this inferno. It also helps protect you from the effects of smoke and gas. Nick, it's James. I'm leaving the area and moving from the alley to the roof to provide medical assistance. Come back now if you need any first aid. Otherwise, good luck. I'll see you up top. Hey, I can help you with that. That's one of the three packs used. Be careful of No problem. It's done. I need backup for my crew on the goddamn roof. FD-14, I'll get back to you with an updated PDA as soon as possible. Make sense? Get a move on. You need it on the roof. Careful! This is a backdraft door! Next time I hit it, air rushes into the room and it ignites, creating a huge explosion of flames! I saw one of these things turn a guy to ashes once. So look out, and use your shield to protect yourself! Backdraft door, look out! I'm coming! Take him down! You Order complete! Hey, okay! Done! was too close for comfort. Thanks, man. Thank you. 
need on any further attacks. Okay. Good work, Mason. Looks like uh, help's on the way. I'll stay here. You keep going. We gotta stop meeting like this. Okay, listen up. We know there are civilians trapped in that blaze. Get hey, them out Doug, here, and I'll make right sure they get guy. to safety. Hey, Nick. Good to see you, man. Listen, there's three people trapped in there, but the place is dangerous as hell. Tell me what you need me to do. I'll take care of the fires. You can deal with the gangs. No problem, Mason. It's done. Okay. On my way. Die, Cooper! It's done. They're everywhere. You want to go get a room? Back off. No problem. Look out! Back to that door! I'm coming. with that. I've got two more packs when you need them. Nice work. You get back in and look for the others.
on, Mason. He's running out of time. Well done. There's one more to go. Hurry! I cannot complete that order. Sorry, hey, I can't do I that can help now. you with that. Okay. Come back when you need help. I cannot complete that order. I cannot complete that order. You need medical assistance? Sorry, I can't do that now. That order. Stop it, man! I cannot complete that order. Okay. Come back when you need help. I cannot complete that order. Stop firing at me! Stop meeting like this. Okay, listen up. We know there is. Hey, Nick. Good to see you, man. Listen, there's three people trapped in there, but the place is dangerous as hell. Tell me what you need me to do. I'll take care of the fires. Consider it done. It's done. I could help you with that. That's one pack used. I've got another two, so come back if you need help. Nice work. You get back in and look for the others.
well done. There's one more to go. Hurry! He's running out of time. Hurry. There's a, some kind of problem with the hydraulics on the crane arm. We need to wait up till they can get it fixed. Look out. Over there on the building. Take cover. Over here. Mason. In your You have unlocked smoke grenades. You have unlocked the thermal breather. Just like a man, I am immune. To the disease.
seas that's inside you that's inside you This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. Downtown residential areas have been under attack for the last few months. They were hit especially hard by gangs last month with the biggest arson attack to date. T Zero rushed in, shut down the gangs, and saved thousands of residents. T Zero has come under a different sort of fire today. Civil activist Gabe Peeps has spoken out against T-Zero, calling its officers riot thugs. Peeps claims he has proof that Adam Wolf has foreign military connections. Sources tell us the FBI is beginning a full investigation into Wolf's past. If any of the claims are confirmed, T-Zero could be suspended from action. Now a Channel 7 exclusive. This man, who cannot be identified, is revealing shocking new details about the gangs and their operation. In an interview with Channel 7, our informant told us that last year he received anonymous packages and letters. They were invitations to company seminars, which involved military training. He ignored the requests and was physically assaulted. He barely escaped and is currently in hiding. Our informant is convinced he was attacked because he chose not to take part in company-sponsored military training. I've just been told that the burners are attacking Garner Square. That's where the AGC peace protest was going to take place tomorrow. The police have evacuated hundreds of people, but sources say there are still many trapped. T Zero is apparently en route. We'll have more details as they come in. Channel 7, first for news in your city. Save the medic. Come on, let's move. Mason, Down save that road. medic and provide backup when we we'll search for yeah. civilians. Nice work, Nick. 
He's gonna be okay. Let's go find the next guy. I'm gonna look after these guys. If you need any help, come see me. Hey, I can help you with that. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry. Hey, I can help you with that. You should be fine now. I've got another two pack. This position.
Come see me if you need any help. It's gonna be real dangerous in that copter, Nick. We're getting reports of armies of these animals roaming the streets. If you want help, take it now. Damn. Looks like you could do with some help. Okay, jump in, mate. Listen, uh. I've only got one pack left, so try and be a little more careful out there. This is terrible. Did you see what happened? This officer said that that guy who did it went down into the sewer. I'll be okay till backup arrives. Get down there and find whoever is responsible. This will help with the pain. Mason, proceed into the sewers and attempt to arrest the gang leader with the rocket launcher. I know it's not going to be easy, but try hard. where you entered the sewers. I'm scary. I'm gonna wait here. You come back if you need 
help. I haven't smelt anything like this since Wolf screamed at a new recruit and he... Well, you get the idea. You need help? No problem. Here you go. I've got two more packs when you need them. Good to see you're okay, Mason. Looks like you found a burner base here. Shit. How long you figure they've been operating from down here? Right under our noses. I got a forensic team en route. If there's anything to be found here, they'll find it.
This is Sally Taylor reporting from outside City Hall, where today a peaceful protest against gang crime turned into a war zone. Protesters were ambushed by members of the Burner Gang, and as the riot escalated, street battles ensued as T-Zero were called into action. Onlookers have described a T-Zero helicopter being fired upon by a surface-to-air missile. As yet, we have no confirmation of casualties or whether Nick Mason was on board when it was destroyed. Hold on, hold on. I see a number of figures leaving the crash site. Yes, yes, I am happy to report. I, I can see Officer Nick Mason accompanied by a selection of medical personnel. Stay with Channel 7. We'll bring you more news as it happens. Now, back to the studio. You have unlocked Emergency Dockyard. You have unlocked the Stun Gun Mark II. Mason, we have another emergency. The transmitter discovered on the gang members has proved police intelligence that a top secret VIP, paramount to the city's survival, is being held hostage in this location by gang members. Again, only T Zero is able to respond, so you're going in solo. You will have access to non approved T Zero prototype weaponry. If you succeed, you earn the weapon permanently. Good luck, Mason. Get him! 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 Get him!
You have unlocked the Shotgun Mark II. You have unlocked Riot Grenades. You have unlocked an extra pistol clip. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you. That's inside you. That's inside you. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. Last month, gangs attacked a peace protest in Midtown. Before the anti-violence march began, gangs poured into the area, trapping civilians and police. Eyewitness reports state that the gangs seemed to come from nowhere and were attacking anyone in their way. As people ran for their lives, a T-Zero enforcer arrived on scene. He secured the area, rescuing many civilians while battling the burners. As popular as T-Zero has become, a leaked FBI document has revealed shocking news about its controversial leader, Adam Wolf. It's been revealed Wolf trained mercenary soldiers in street warfare. We're told the tactics are identical to those used by the terror gangs in our city. Wolf has been suspended while an investigation gets underway. Also, more trouble for Mayor Wyatt. He's now being linked to Wolf's questionable past. Military sources have confirmed that Wolf and the mayor served together for several years in the U.S. Marine Corps. It's raising suspicion that these two leaders could be behind the violence. A poll conducted by this news station shows the public approval rating of Wolf and Wyatt is at an all-time low. Reports are now coming in that the Burner Gang has pinned fire and paramedic crews in the east side shipping yard. Witnesses confirm the buildings surrounding the area have been filled with explosives. We'll have more details on this story as they come in. Channel 7, first for news in your city.
Team went into the building looking for casualties. God, you need help? Fucking God, no problem. Suck it. Here you go. Take this. It'll stop the pain. That's one out of three packs. Hey, zero. Protect that fire crew. Understand? Come here. Back me up. I'm hit. You are not. Thanks. I didn't think I would get away from those bastards. Frank went into the building to look for any casualties trapped inside. There were three guys in my crew and other workers in there when the bomb went off. I don't know if any survived. But I need to go back and find out for myself. You can back me up. 
Mason, assist the fire crew with any help they require. I have more fire crews okay. en route to your location. Be careful in here. This place looks very unstable. <laughs> Up here! Help me, please! People that need our help me. back inside. Come on, Mason. Dispatch is That fire? No problem. Be advised. Ambulances will be arriving at your location shortly along with police backup. Order complete. Trapped in the basement of the Williams factory and need assistance. Mason, the police have just arrived at your 
location. Help is on its way. Get out of my way. Damn, this place is crazy. They're all over there. It's a bloodbath, Nick. Looks like they were waiting for us to arrive. They're crazy. One of them had an electric saw. Did you see? Hey, Mason, I could it sounds like that. they need your help out there. What are you waiting for? Take this. It'll stop the pain. Reloading. You'll be fine. Yeah, now this should make it. You seen these guys before, Mason? They look pretty dangerous to me. I'll back you up. You tell me what you want me to do. If you need me to provide cover, let me know which direction. Mason, let's get this scum back to Hope Street. Maybe we can get a lead on our next target. Was it T-Zero with their 
their apparent tactful disregard for innocent lives in their so-called crusade against the burners? Did the burners cause the fire, trying to escape from certain death at the hands of a heavily armed police squad? Do you have an opinion? Have you been terrorized by T-Zero? If so, contact Channel 7 now. Back to Lonnie in the studio. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you, that's inside you, that's inside you. Now don't believe I can be. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. We've just received word that more of the so-called Burners gang have been captured in an intense dockside battle that exploded this month. The Burner gang pinned fire and paramedic crews in the east side shipping yard and rigged the surrounding buildings with explosives. T-Zero fought its way into the area and saved thousands of innocent people. Also, political activist Gabe Peeps is in the news again. It seems the controversial information Peeps presented about Adam Wolf was false. Peeps was apparently trying to discredit the T-Zero leader to gain public support for himself. Also, the activist was apparently using public money to suppress his history of illegal activity. Police went to arrest Peeps late last night, which sparked a dramatic high-speed pursuit that ended at the Mexican border. Peeps escaped, and police are working with Mexican authorities to find him. Meantime, the president has issued T-Zero a first priority order. That enables them to use any means necessary to combat gang aggression and take back our city. With Wolf in the clear and a blessing from the president, T-Zero is set to take control. But the news isn't as positive for Mayor Wyatt. Confidence in the mayor is slipping due to his failure to suppress the gangs and growing suspicion of his motives. In other news, the city's largest prison is full. More than 300 inmates were admitted last month alone, according to a report from the Judicial Committee. Many of them are direct arrests by Nick Mason, T-Zero enforcer. New information is coming in now about more gang attacks. The Burner Gang has apparently taken over the St. Valentine Street station. Many people are said to be trapped. Eyewitnesses report that explosions have been heard. T-Zero is on the way. We'll have more on this story as it unfolds. Channel 7, first for news in your city. a lot sooner than expected. What the hell? Looks like we've got another train coming up behind us.
medical assistance? So, where does it hurt? I've got two more packs when you need them. Nick, you're going to be fine. You're lucky the driver never made it. I think you were thrown from the train. Tara's gonna be okay. We got her out 20 minutes ago. I don't think the cop who was with you is ever going to get on a train again. I think you'll be fine to carry on. There are squads of police in the tunnels ahead, but I hear it swarming with bad guys. Nice to see you back on your feet. Get the best that blew up the train. Be careful. Those animals are all over the place. Nathan, you hearing this? Good. As you can probably hey, see, we have FD-16 at the scene okay. of the crash. Come back when you need to. Downloading your information for you. Take the medical cop. Help! Keep away! This will help with the pain. I'll be okay. Keep going. You need help? This should make you feel better. I've got another two packs. Ooh. I can help you get through this maze. Same drill, man. You tell me what you need me to do. Remember to use your breather if you need to. FD-16B advised. E-0 still on site. Hold your current position and await backup. Bat, no I'm done at the crash site. I'm making my way towards Mason to provide medical assistance. There's a squad of cops in the tunnel ahead. It's done. You like this heat? Good to see you, Mason. Heard you had a little trouble back there. There are more squads up ahead. Look out! Here they come! It's just too hot, man. I'm on it. Kill him! Die, Mason! 
try to get close, they fire at us. You're just gonna have to try and get in from round back. I'm on it. It's Hal. We got the station surrounded. No one's getting out the front. My partner's in front. Look out! We got separated with these bastards there. Just up ahead. I'm needed back there. Zero, we have a medical crew en route to your position. Thanks, man. They dragged Chico over to the other platform. We had an agreement. They said they'd leave us alone. Chico has the key to the security shutter. You gotta get to him so we can get out of here. Are you okay? Thank God. Listen up. I'll take this guy and make sure he's okay. We'll go over there. Come find me if you need fixing up. You look like you could use some help. No problem. <sighs> but remember, I've only got one more pack.
thinks. The secret room is full of these fuckers. I'll get you in there. I am not going in while any of these bastards are still alive. Mason, we spotted a gang leader in the ticket office. We can't get in there, so you'll have to capture him yourself. Dispatch to Unit 22. T-Zero is proceeding towards the ticket area. Be aware. T-Zero will surely be entering your location. Nice shooting. Thanks. Hey, it's you, Mason. Wow. Do you need my help? You're on your own, cop. I told you I am not going in. Got ah, Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Back me up! I'm hit! Down on the ground! Down on the ground! This is Sally Taylor outside the 5th Street Metro line. As the city's millions of commuters already know, today saw the closure of most of the network. What they don't know, however, is the reason why. At a press conference just now, we've learned that today T-Zero led an assault on the station, which resulted in the deaths of at least 50 gang members, the destruction of a train, and the closure of one major tunnel due to what experts are calling major structural issues. Nick Mason was escorted from the scene about 15 minutes ago, and extra fire crews have arrived at the station. There are, of course, many rumors as to why the train exploded and subsequently crashed, but Channel 7 News will be on scene to bring you the facts as we learn them. What is known, however, is that a major gang base has been found and neutralized by T-Zero. So today, our city is safer, once again, thanks to Nick Mason. This is Sally Taylor for Channel 7. You have unlocked emergency sewers. You have unlocked a shotgun damage upgrade. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you. That's inside you. That's inside you. 
Mason, we have another emergency. The transceiver found on the gang member has proved FBI intelligence that a top secret VIP critical to the city is being held hostage in this location by gang members. Again, only T Zero is able to respond, so you're going in solo. This mission is covert. As usual, you have access to non approved T Zero prototype weaponry. If you succeed, the weapon is yours for use in all further missions. Stay sharp, Mason.
gun. He had a chainsaw. It was Now you got him. Head down that tunnel. Shortcut. You have unlocked the Assault Rifle, Mark II. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. Death and destruction hit the city again last month. St. Valentine's Street Station was the target of gangs in an attack that left hundreds dead and many more injured. The gang had been using the station as a weapons cache and hideout. Our sources indicate the gang was planning to release nerve gas into the subway system. T-Zero assisted officers in a daring rescue and secure mission, ramming a train through barricades to rescue civilians who'd been held hostage. In a new development, T-Zero's commander, Adam Wolf, is missing. Police are refusing to comment on the disappearance of Wolf. He's been described by the commissioner as critical in saving the city. Wolf served as a Marine for 18 years before leading T-Zero. To be clear, reports that he's been abducted have not been confirmed by the station. We'll have more on this story as it develops. In other news, Mayor Wyatt has slipped further into political turmoil. Reports the mayor encouraged brutal torture of gang members have been confirmed by several sources. Many council members are calling for his resignation. At this point, there's been no comment from the mayor's office. I'm getting reports just a few minutes ago. Channel 7 reporter Sally Taylor and cameraman Bruce Burlow were taken hostage by members of the Burners. No contact has been made from the gang to either our TV station or the authorities. T-Zero is apparently en route to where our crew is being held. Our thoughts are with Sally and Bruce. We'll have more on this late-breaking story as it unfolds. Channel 7, first for news in your city. Here for one of those bastards to kill. Up there! Uh. 
I'm on it. Switch in that room. Go use it. Maybe we can stop these bastards getting in. Good job, Nick. Murder the pig! There's another one coming over the fence. Hold the position. T Zero is en route to your location. Okay. okay. Nick, if you can hear this, get a move on. I don't know Look how out. You They got me! Yeah. That was close. Nick, you check over there, I'll deal with the fire. Kill the fucking pig! out, Nick. Let's go look for another route out of here. Affirmative! Keep your eyes open. They can come from anywhere. Thank God you're here, Nick. This way. Shit. We're blocked in. We need to get around the other side of this truck to find a route into the next alley. There are wounded cops pinned down around there. Looks like we'll have to wait up here till the fire burns itself out. Hey, I could help you with that. I've got another two packs. Glad to see you. We attempted a rescue on the building, but got screwed. The rest of the guys are holed up at one of those garages. We gotta get them medical attention. Way. You're looking a little better now. No problem, but remember, I've only got one more pack. Take 
him down. Get over here! Get oh, out of here. Big. Hey, Matthews, quick, open up! I got help here! Come on, let us in! You need help? Okay, come back when you need help. Get that damn shutter down! Nick, I'll hold back here in case we get attacked. You go on and find Let's that reporter. We can't risk opening his door right now, so find another way to get into the building. Good try up there! Hey, Nick, I'm going to be busy here. Come back down if you need any medical treatment.
out trying to rescue the reporter. Come back to me if you need ammo. Fucking pigs! Good afternoon. This is Sally Taylor, reporting live from the Hendrix building. My life has just been saved by heroic T-Zero member Nick Mason. Just minutes ago, Nick Mason stormed the room in which I was being held and single-handedly rescued me from what I had assumed was a certain death. My capturers spoke repeatedly about their hatred of this city, the police, and especially T-Zero. I wasn't able to hear everything they said, but naturally I will be fully cooperating with the police department. This is Sally Taylor, live, thanks to Nick Mason. You have unlocked the grenade belt. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you. That's inside you, that's inside you. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York reporting for Channel 7 News. In our top story, a massive gang attack in the downtown area has killed police and civilians. T-Zero's finest Nick Mason was on the scene to take control of the situation. Channel 7 reporters Sally Taylor and Bruce Burlow were among those kidnapped by the gang leaders. They were saved by T-Zero during an intense shootout. They are reportedly safe, but obviously shaken. Also, evidence discovered from the burners' attack confirms that T-Zero Commander Adam Wolf has been kidnapped by the gang. No demands have been received by police. We'll bring you more on this story as it happens. And Channel 7 now brings you this special report on the development of the gangs. More than nine months ago, the first gang members appeared, masked and armed with basic weapons. They burned and murdered their way through the city in an unorganized manner. Soon after, the gangs graduated to heavy firearms and their attacks more focused and powerful. Well, now there are reports that the gangs have armed themselves with military-grade weapons and armor. Well, Channel 7 has just received confirmation that the burners have claimed responsibility for the kidnap 
of T-0 Commander Adam Wolf. They're holding him in a skyscraper in Midtown. No demands have been made. However, initial reports suggest the gangs may be setting a trap to bait T-0. They're en route as we speak. Channel 7, first for news in your city. Look like you could use some help. Come here. Drop your weapon. That's one of the three Be careful out there. You understand? Find a way to get this gate open. on the other side. Find a way to open it. We have reports that the gang's leader is in the next room. You are. We need him brought in alive. Kill him all! Kill me, sir, you 
This should make you feel better. Listen, uh, I've only got one pack left, so try and be a little bit more careful. Nick, I think Wolf might be in the upper part of the shaft. You'll need to use the elevator in order to gain access to the upper level, where we will be Wolf might be held. You might need patching up, so I had Mike airlift me up here. Do 
you need medical assistance? That's all I got. Watch yourself. Your ass in gear, Mason. One more step, and the old fucker gets it. I knew I could count on it. 
With these bastards out of the way, things should get a lot safer around here. Sir, are you okay? Here, let me tend to your wounds. Stop your fussing, woman. I'm fine. I want a full report on my desk by 7. Mason, let's go. We've got work to do. You have unlocked Emergency, Thompson Street. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you. That's inside you, that's inside you. Mason, we have another emergency. The PDA that was found on the gang member contained enemy plans that a top secret VIP, key to the city's success, is being held hostage in this location by gang members. Again, only T Zero is able to respond, so you're going in solo. This is a secret mission. As usual, you have access to non approved T Zero prototype weaponry. Once completed, the weapon will be available for all other missions. Lock and load, Mason.
vanished. You have unlocked the shotgun, Mark III. You have unlocked an extra shotgun clip. Just... This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York reporting for Channel 7 News. In a story of heroism and courage, Adam Wolf is safe thanks to T-Zero hero Nick Mason. Mason rescued Wolf from his kidnappers with the help of emergency services. Wolf has released a statement vowing to stop the gangs once and for all. Shift it will crush the city. That shocking statement from Lucian Hotspeed, previous leader of a faction of the Burners. Since his arrest, Hotspeed has confirmed that Shift It was involved in Adam Wolf's kidnapping. Hotspeed told the FBI that Shift It formed an army to show America that it's vulnerable and weak. In response, police raided shifted offices this morning and found weapons and attack plans. Now it appears company officials are the masterminds of the gang attacks. Many of its employees are missing, including CEO Amon Kang. In other breaking news, T-Zero hero Nick Mason's home was firebombed early this morning. Mason was on duty at the time and was uninjured in the attack. Finally, some positive news for Mayor Wyatt. The allegations of his involvement in gang torture have been revealed as completely false. The claims were traced to Gabe Peeps. Peeps planned to discredit the mayor and then run for office himself. He was arrested today in Panama. We've just been informed of another gang attack. This time Angel Heights, which is known as the Dangerous Housing Project, has been overrun by gangs. 
Emergency workers are trapped inside. T-Zero is on the scene. More on this story as it unfolds. Channel 7, first for news in your city. Thank God you're here. There are burners everywhere. A couple of officers made an advance into the area and got taken down. I need your help getting to them, but the burners have a massive chain gun defending the area. I'm gonna stay here until you've taken out that chain gun. Come back if you need patching up. Lock out. Lead the way, Mason. Okay, Nick. According to the satellite hey, images, it looks like there are civilians trapped in burning buildings to the up enough so we can move him. Take us back to the underpass so I can continue to work on him. Mason, escort the medic and officer Daniels back to the underpass. These guys are insane. Be advised. Look at the cover driving into location shortly. Here you go. Oh, that bastard took Walker I've got two out. More uh, packs battered me with his shield. You need to get in there and help those people trapped inside. Mason, get down. Fireman Walk John will assist you Don't in the worry. rescue of the trapped civilian. Cover me. I need That's to reload. Right. Get down. You are under arrest. They're everywhere. Right, 
Dispatch informed me that there is a civilian trapped get inside the clock at I'll help you get in there and rescue him. Keep the way, mate. Going to be okay. Mason, Don't Fireman worry. Fireman Johnson will assist you in the rescue of the trapped civilian. Oh, looks like you could do with some help. No problem. Here you go. This may hurt a little. I've got two more packs when you need them. Dispatch informed me that there's a civilian trapped inside the Block F building. Go! Die! Mason. Lead the way, Mason.
guy and get out of here. I'm going to fucking kill you, Mason! Done. make it better. No problem. But remember, I've only got one more pack. about my crew now. You're going to be okay. Don't worry. Fucking kill you, man! 
careful, Nick. This guy's a bit twitchy. In your face, you fucker! Pin down in here. There's too many of them. You need medical assistance? No problem. Here you go. This may hurt a little. That's one out of three packs. You can't go this way, Mason. Be careful out there. It's suicide. You understand? There's Mason, too many of them. under here. See if you can get to that chain gun. Use it against these bastards.
Great work, Nick. We really earned our pay today. This is Steve George, reporting live for Channel 7 over the burning shell of the Angel Heights housing project. As you know, I've been skeptical of T-Zero, but all that changed when I watched T-Zero in action. Nick Mason was like some kind of machine as he single-handedly took down a burner gun emplacement before turning it on the gang in the climax to a brutal battle that left many of our city's finest dead or wounded. Do I think the politics of T-Zero are correct? I still don't know. What is certain, however, is this. Nick Mason is a real hero, and I, for one, won't be saying another word against him. Now, back to Lonnie in the studio. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you, that's inside you. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York reporting for Channel 7 News. A gang hideout was destroyed last month by T-Zero with assistance from emergency services. Angel Heights, one of the most troubled areas within our city, looked like a war zone as gang members attacked police and civilians. T-Zero was on the scene in minutes and fought off the gangs. Now Channel 7 brings you this shocking special report on Shifted. The organized gangs who initially appeared as anarchic groups can now be revealed as terrorists with a mission to unleash chaos and death on our city. Every employee of Shifted was apparently a trained sleeper unit awaiting the signal for attack. Shifted's offices were terrorist cells in the heart of our city. Their goal was to, quote, burn the city alive and make America pay for its arrogance and brutality of other countries around the world. Shifted boss Aman Kang and many of his employees are still missing. Some suggest the gang is preparing for a final, horrifying attack. There are also troubling rumors that Shifted has hidden weapons of mass destruction in the heart of our city. Police are urging citizens to stay calm. And this just in. Shifted's secret terrorist headquarters have been discovered by officers. T-Zero is first on the scene. All we know at this point is the suspects are in an old, unused substation somewhere in Eastern Heights. We'll bring you more on this story as the reports come in. Channel 7, first for news in your city. Mason, looks like we got them at last. They're holed up in the substation on McMillan Street. I want you to get in there and save the day, Mason. This is T-Zero's finest hour. Wolf, I got a feeling this is where the WMD is kept. Trouble is, this place is like a damn fortress. Some of my men are already in there. Thanks, Sergeant. Okay, I am taking over operational control of this area. Mason, get going. Someone get me satellite images of this place. Mason, take the fireman with you. You may need his help. But your country is dependent. Hey, I'm with you, Mason. Let's end this. Dispatch, this is Unit 15. Okay. I need urgent assistance. I've got my fire just inside the compound. I can't last much longer. Damn! I 
thought it was Where incomplete. That guy. Hey, you might need this. I'm gonna help you out and return the hey, favor. Damn, Al! Drop your weapon! I'm gonna fucking now. Kill you bastard! Get down! You are hey, under arrest! Get over here! Die! Mason! Medical assistance? Drop your weapons! You're now. looking a little better now. That's one back you. I've got another two, so come back. You need help. Cover me! I'm out! Take this. It'll stop the pain. No problem. But remember, Get I've only down. got one you more path.
Lead the way. I'm out. You are gonna die. Drop your weapon now. Jump in the 
truck and we can gate crash the party inside. Make it strange. Remember, if you need patching up, I'm here for you. Get in the truck, Mason. Hold on tight. This is gonna get fun. <laughs> you think they know we're here yet? Be something here. around here to open this door. No more hiding. Hey, come over here. Die, Mason. I see him. Get over here. Put your hands in the air! The station will meet you by the T Zero truck. Come see me if you need patching up. Get out! You're under arrest! Okay? Kill the pigs! Got him! Come and get me, pussy! Okay, let's get into it. Let's clear the lower level. 
maniac shooting in the back. <laughs> That's an order! Shoot the fucker, Mason! That's an order! You're gonna pay for this, asshole!
See a nice bonus in our paychecks for this. Sergeant Wolf, I have the president on the line. He would like to personally congratulate you and your team on an excellent job. Tell him I'll call him back. I have to buy Nick Mason a drink first. He saved my life again today. is over. The Burner Gang has once and for all been defeated. This is Sally Taylor reporting live for Channel 7 News outside the McMillan Street substation. This is where, about an hour ago, T-Zero stormed this innocent-looking substation where the Burners were in the process of implementing their endgame plan. No official information has been provided about what went on inside the substation, but we have seen bomb disposal units enter the site and the police have started to evacuate nearby residents. Stay tuned to Channel 7 for more updates. have unlocked Emergency, Angel Heights. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you. That's inside you. Mason, we have another emergency. The PD 
DEA discovered on the gang members has proved military intelligence that a top secret VIP, critical to the city's survival, is being held hostage in this location by gang members. Again, only T Zero is able to respond, so you're going in solo. This mission is off limits. You will have access to non approved T Zero prototype weaponry. If successful, the weapon will be available for further missions. Good luck, Mason.
Right, get in there and find him, Dick. Don't have much time. You have unlocked the Assault Rifle, Mark III. You have unlocked an Assault Rifle Damage Upgrade. Just like a man, I am immune. To the disease that's inside. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York with Channel 7 News. Our top story shift its terror efforts have finally come to an end. T Zero smashed through the last of the gang resistance in their secret base, the East Side Substation. 
Officials have denied rumors that a weapon of mass destruction was found at the site, but radiation levels in the area are unusually high. Weapons expert Dr. Lloyd has confirmed a WMD would have crippled the country. He tells Channel 7 that the substations form a ring that connect every nuclear power station in the nation. If detonated, the WMD would send a thermal pulse across the country, causing a chain reaction of explosions. Dr. Lloyd says that could have killed about 300 million people. Well, in a ceremony this morning, Nick Mason was awarded the Medal of Valor. It's the highest national award for valor for a police officer. Mayor Wyatt was quoted as saying, in a city of heroes, Nick Mason stands heads above the rest. His bravery and skill are legendary. He has saved our country's freedom and once again has served his city with distinction, honor, and bravery. Channel 7, Nick, we salute you. Hey, Nick, it wasn't the pizza. It's a package for you. Have I got your attention, Mason? Thought you could take us out. Stop us from completing our mission. You are so wrong. Where are you without your great T Zero? You're just a man alone. And you are going to die like the pig you are. No one can stop the burners. They will rise from the ashes of this city. Nick and Trudy, what the hell is going on in there? Your building alarms have been tripped, and I have fire crews on their way to your location. We'll have to rely on yourself a calm. I know you don't have a shield, but I'm sure you got a weapon of your away in your apartment.
for even one night. Hey, I brought you some. Okay, let's get going. This is our chance to get these animals and make them pay. Come on! Cover me! I'm out! Radio you when we enter the building. Be careful. He's here! Mason's here! Mason, are you listening, Mason? Our destiny cannot be denied. The murders never stop. For every one of us you strike down, another will be ready to take their place. We will grow stronger. Faster and smarter. No one, not even Team Zero, can stop us. You want some too? Kill them all and get them! You do the you could do with some help. And you should be fine now. Only one more pack left.
Do you need medical assistance? You'll be fine. Just try and avoid getting shot. This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York reporting for Channel 7 News. In our top story, T-Zero hero Nick Mason fought off an unexpected, vicious and vengeful attack from Shiftit's terrorist elite. The battle was at his safe house uptown. Emergency services have swarmed the area and successfully defeated the gangs once and for all. Well, thousands of people are returning to rebuild their homes and their lives. The many months of inner city war have taken huge physical and emotional toll. Mayor Wyatt inspired residents by saying, our city will rebuild, not only with bricks, but with a stronger bond between those who live here. It'll take months for us to repair our city, but our spirit is resolute and our freedom burns brightly in our hearts and in our minds. We would like to take a moment to remember the emergency service crews and T-Zero members who gave their lives to protect our liberty. Without these brave souls, none of us would be free. If you would like to extend your own words of gratitude to Nick Mason and all the other brave heroes and their families, please contact us here at Channel 7. This is Lanny York signing off. Channel 7, as always, will be first for news in your city. 
Thank you and good night. You have unlocked Terror Mode. Just like a man, I am immune to the disease that's inside you, that's inside you, that's inside you.